T minus 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Stop the nose down there. We are T plus 40 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop off orbit. Moments ago, we did throttle down our engines in preparation for max Q. And that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure, which is the largest structural sonic. load that the vehicle will see. That's coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. And there's that call out that we have just passed through Max Q. In about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back. The first of which will be main engine cutoff or MECO. This is where all nine M1D engines shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. Stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage with the first that stage First stage starting to make its way back to Earth for landing and stage two continuing on its journey with the third event called SES-1 or second engine start one. And that's where the MVAC engine lights up on the second stage and propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to its drop off orbit. orbit. We are at T plus two minutes and five seconds. So we're just about 25 seconds away from those three events. Again, that is Miko stage separation and SES-1, or second engine start one. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And there you can see on your screen, on the left screen, we had main engine cutoff and stage separation. On your right screen is the second stage MVAC engine lighting up glowing bright red there. And it is a bit dark on the East Coast. But you can see on your left screen that first stage, those grid fins are deploying. And on your right screen, we have fairing deploy coming fairing up separation here. Separation confirmed. And there is that confirmation of fairing deploy. Now let's see if those fairing halves can be recovered by our recovery ships, Miss Tree and Miss Chief today. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn has started. And there you hear that call out as well as a visual confirmation that those engines have reignited. The vehicle continues to follow nominal trajectory. And stage one, entry burn shut down. And confirmation that the stage one entry burn is complete, as well as stage two still looking nominal. You heard that call out. Stage one landing burn has started. Turn on guidance. Landing legs have deployed. Stage two FTS has saved. 
And wow, as you saw coming and down, GRTI, that first stage, stage Falcon 9. Operators moving to procedure 11.100 on recovery 1 and DCF 9. <laughs> Amazing, that first stage booster has landed for the first time, for the fifth time for a Falcon 9 booster. That is amazing. We're waiting for a second stage engine cut off. What an amazing view of that first stage coming down, even though it, it, it was dark and night, but those engines lighting up the screen, watching first stage come down was Not an amazing view. Payload deploy confirmed. And there is that confirmation. We got a live view as it was deploying from the vehicle. Those Starlink satellites are making their Going way, right. separating from second stage right in front of you right now. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array. And over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. And also, just to note, tomorrow is June 4th. That was actually the anniversary of our first Falcon flight. 10-year anniversary of our first flight. So very exciting time. First Falcon 9 flight. So very, very exciting times. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you at the next launch.